days. Stay tuned for that little off-court mess. Serena Williams starting things off in the third set. Serena hits the ball with so much authority. Hing is one of the best movers on the tour and anticipators. Just wasn't able to handle it. Side to side. The longer the point goes, now it's better for Hingis. And you're right, Pam, right at the end of that point, Serena gave it a little hobble. <laughs> Hingis has to try to get as many balls back as possible right now. You would think that Serena is going to try to end the points quicker. Try not to do as much moving as she did before. Oh. Having a lot more trouble with her serve as well. Remember the first set, all those aces. She had a couple of aces in the second set, but nowhere near as many as the first. hasn't made too many unforced errors but that one could be a costly one opportunity at 1530 that ball was just in the middle of the court no reason to make that mistake Serena Williams wondering what's going on with the foot. He'll slowly change ends. No sit down. Final set. A different Serena Williams right now. The concentration's gone. Who would have thought a point for two love? And remember, that was that sky smash that Serena Williams had, the Pete Sampras looking shot. She jumped way up in the air, missed it. That was a point for six love, two love. And it's been a real turnaround since then. Hingis now with a lead in the match. Intelligent play by Martina Hingis. Saw Serena Williams closing in on the net. Decided to go for the topspin lob. You can see Serena just casually coming in. 
not moving the feet like she was early in the match and hobbling after the point. She didn't like that call. It looked definitely wide. She definitely looks like she's in pain, Pam. Well, we have Davenport on the sidelines right now with a sore left foot. And we've got a left foot problem here. And now she's going for too much. All too soon. Really struggling right now. Serena Williams, a lot of players have had a lot of injuries the last couple months. Mary Pierce has been out with a shoulder injury since Wimbledon. Monica Sellis has a left forearm injury pulled out of this tournament. Maybe it's the purple. <laughs> she calls it mulberry. Oh. Excuse me. Well, I'm not exactly, you know, a fashion aficionado. Some people might actually call the fashion police with that outfit, but it's kind of fun out there. Definitely struggling out there, looking to step slow. It's not easy, though, on the other side. Hingis knows this. And she's just trying to keep the ball in the court, move it around. I really think that Hingis can get this game right here. This match is history. Serena, a little encouragement, but it's looking pretty bleak right now. Considering where we were about 40 minutes ago, it was all Williams. Now it's all Hingis. Well, the drop shot wasn't great, but it made Serena move forward. And then with the tops of the lob, move backwards. So she's making her work, Hingis. Mom's still trying to encourage Serena, telling her to fight, I'm sure. Either fight or retire with an injury. But sort of this in-between thing as a parent or a coach is really hard to watch. Serena Williams does. You can see Hingis looking at Serena. Chair umpire Ann Lucier Ulrich. Looks like Serena might stop. It sure does. Well, that answers the question. <laughs> Difficult situation in a final. The crowd was totally into it. They saw Hingis turn things around. And now at love three in the third set, Serena Williams forfeits the match to Martina Hingis. way to win a title but considering where Martina Hingis was after the first seven games of the match an amazing turnaround for the Swiss number one Martina Hingis's mom looks on we'll have more from Toronto and the Du Maurier Open after this Martina Hingis 
with a win.